What's going on guys? Back in 2012, I had the same idea that every single kid who makes YouTube videos has at some point. You know what? I'm gonna make gaming videos. And to be honest, it kinda makes sense. I mean, you see a handful of gaming channels that are super successful and you think, wow, I could totally do that. I can play games, I have a personality. What you don't see are the thousands of other kids who are trying to do the exact same thing you are and getting like 10 views. But anyway, back in January of 2012, I still attempted it and I decided to do a let's play of the game Earthbound. Nowadays, Earthbound is one of my favorite games of all time and it's really one of the only games I can still play all the way through without getting bored or giving up halfway through. But back then, I had actually never played the game. This was my first time experiencing it. Well, technically, I would probably seen Let's Plays of it. I probably knew everything the game had to offer, but it was my first time playing it for myself. I don't know why I decided to do that. It definitely did not make for quality content, I can freaking tell you that. By September of 2012, I had actually only uploaded 17 parts to this Let's Play, and as it turns out, part 17 would be the last part of this Let's Play. Now, with a lot of series I make on YouTube, they really don't have an ending. They sort of just stop eventually. I usually get bored of doing the same thing, and there's nothing forcing me to make videos I don't want to make anymore. So I just stop, and this Let's Play was simply a victim of that mindset. However, this one has always sort of rubbed me the wrong way because it doesn't exactly end on a positive note. And as I said before, Earthbound is one of my favorite games. I always feel like I sort of did this one a little dirty uh, the way I ended it. So today, I am here to give Let's Play Earthbound a proper ending. Now, I would encourage you guys to go back and watch my Let's Play of Earthbound, but it's terrible. And also, it's unlisted, the playlist is private, there's literally no way to go and see it. So what I'm going to show you today is an abridged version of the episode that ended the Earthbound Let's Play. Now, as I said before, this was released in September of 2012. I was 13 years old. I had not even started 8th grade yet. You know, some things are better left forgotten, and this is probably one of them, but I'm gonna show it to you today. And honestly, guys, I think this is the funniest shit I ever made. Like, to be honest, I cannot believe that I'm still creatively satisfied making YouTube videos, because I peaked with this video back in 2012. I have never laughed harder at one of my own videos than I did here watching this one. So without further ado, here it is. Let's play Earth Bond Part 17, Rage. Hey everyone, welcome back to more Let's Play Earthbound. In this episode, we'll be fighting the Sanctuary Boss. You finally got here. This is the second your Sanctuary location, but it's mine now! <laughs> Take it from me, if you dare. The Mondo Mole! Oh, it's not very effective. Tor Indy! Oh. Oh, I forgot to heal. PK PK Thunder! Oh, come on! What do you mean it didn't hit anyone? I told you. What do you mean it didn't hit anyone? Okay, Paula, for the love of tor torch, torch, I don't know. No! Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! No, Paula's gonna die and. Oh! Oh! Of course! And now! Go, Nessus, go! Ah! No! Ah! Go, 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 go! What? No! Oh my freaking, 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 frick, frick, frick! No! Oh, come on! I only have two bucks. That means I only had like four bucks when I really 
Oh! Why do I always do that? It's just like the first four episodes all over again. I thought that'd be decently decent. Quit it with the stupid bears! I am so mad I might rage quit. I got owned! I tried to kill it and it killed Paula so I just ran away and there's not even a magic butterfly here! And oh my freaking frick frick this episode's- I don't- Oh bravo bravo, it's a classic guys, it's a classic video, they just don't make YouTube videos like this anymore. Now before I give this Let's Play a proper send off, obviously this is not the same file that I did that Let's Play on. That file probably didn't make it to the end of 2012 before it got deleted. It's kind of crazy to think how much the Earthbound series has changed in America since 2012 without actually having a new game come out. Back in 2012, the only way to play Earthbound was either the original Super Nintendo release or emulation. I was playing this game on the original Super Nintendo, hence why it was so easy for the files to get deleted. You knock the cartridge wrong once, and that shit's gone. Pretty much everyone in America had deemed this series a lost cause. It had seemed that Nintendo of America just did not care to re-release it. Not even Nintendo of America. The game never saw a Wii Virtual Console release in any form in any country, even in Japan where the game was super popular, so it was quite surprising that it never happened. Eventually though, the game did see a release on the Wii U Virtual Console in Japan in the spring of 2013. There was a huge outcry of American fans trying to get this game to come out because once again, it seemed we had been dealt a bad hand on this game and once again we are being snubbed of a re-release of this game. And amazingly enough, their prayers were answered because in July of 2013, this game was released for the Wii U Virtual Console in America, and also Europe where it had never gotten a release for the Super Nintendo. It's kind of crazy having been a fan of Earthbound back in 2012, and seeing now in 2021 that the game is actually kind of easy to come across. It of course got the Wii U Virtual Console release that I mentioned earlier, but it's also available on the 3DS Virtual Console and the Super Nintendo Mini Console. It's simply not that difficult to play Earthbound in an official manner anymore. Also, the game's prequel, known as Mother One in Japan, and it was dubbed Earthbound Beginnings in America, was released for the first time on the Wii U back in 2015. This game was originally meant to be translated and released on the NES back in 1991, but it was cancelled and pretty much forgotten about. Nintendo never acknowledged it again until its release in 2015. That leaves just one game in the series that eludes us American fans, and of course, that is Mother 3. Mother 3 is never fucking coming out in America. Like, I, I hope I'm wrong, but that shit is not coming out. If you are aware of Mother 3, you know, like, the themes and you know what happens in that. If that game comes out in America, that shit's gonna be rated M, and Nintendo is not going to do that. I mean, forget about the themes, forget about all the story elements that are messed up in that game. Look at some of the NPCs, that shit is not going to fly in 2021 at all. I would be shocked if we ever see Mother 3 come out in America, but I could be wrong. We might come back on this video and I might be eating my pants or whatever because it, it, holy shit, it came out, but I don't think I'm gonna be wrong about this. If you remember, Nintendo was in a lot of hot water in the past few years because they were sending copyright notices and DMCAs to a bunch of Nintendo fan projects like fan games, fan websites, all that kind of stuff. Yet. The Mother 3 fan translation, which was, which is undoubtedly the most popular or at least most well-known Nintendo fan project, which came out all the way back in 2008, has never been taken down by Nintendo. It has never been challenged by Nintendo of America at all. Nintendo of America does not give a fuck about this game. It is never coming out in America. And now that our spiel about the whole series is over, Let's finally do what a 13-year-old me could not do, and let's give the Earthbound Let's Play a proper finale, and let's fight the Mondo Mole.
And here we are, Mondo Mole, the boss that has evaded me for so many years. This is gonna be so weird recording because I usually like cut out my fail takes, but I just gotta keep going because it's a let's play. You gotta, you gotta do that. But as uh, as many of you will be, will not be surprised to find out that this boss is actually not that hard at all. You just kind of got to know how to fight it, which I obviously didn't. He is, it's a little annoying. He is like immune to like freeze and stuff like that. And I don't think fire does very well on him. And he's using life up alpha on the first turn for no reason. But if you have paralysis, which I'm pretty sure I had back then uh, in my original recording, uh, this guy cannot do anything. Paralysis does not allow him to do physical attacks. Um, Thunder is the best for Paula to use, so I wasn't wrong in using that, uh, in my original video. I just wrong for freaking out because it kept not hitting. Um, but yeah, Thunder is unfortunately the best way to go, which is, it's very inaccurate. But we got him there, and it does a pretty good amount of damage. But like I said, look at this, he can't even move. Like, this guy has literally nothing against us when he is numb. He does have some PSI attacks, so he can do those to you. But other than that, I mean, this battle takes kind of a long time, but like, ah, oh, and he's gonna use freaking life up. But look at that, look at that. I mean, this is nothing. Like me back in whatever, I was in eighth grade, not even in eighth grade yet when this, that video came out. And there we go, fucking dead. Ah. Easy shit, easy shit. And I'm level 20. I think I was level 21 when I fought that guy. So life up beta, like, just like that. Yes, perfect end to the Let's Play, guys. We beat the second boss of Earthbound. Alright guys, so I think it took me eight years to make part 18, whatever this is. So in eight years, we will continue Earthbound for part 19 of Let's Play Earthbound. We will head back to Tucson and talk to Everdread again uh, because he told us to talk to him when we finally got her back. So thank you guys for watching this and I will see you in the next episode.